hello everyone you are welcome back to house of ada and in today's video i'll be reviewing the best domestic sewing machine for new sewers or you already have your industrial and you have to have one outside so in case it breaks down my machine broke down about two weeks ago and i felt so terrible for not having like extra one kept aside in case of breakdown in emergencies and stopping you from finishing your project so if you stay by you are going to see this machine how to set it up and the basic things you need to know about it and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and become part of this amazing channel let's go straight into the video brother ls145 and it has three years warrant so these are the buttonhole maker the bobbin and the footer and with some needle as well and this is the manual so this is the motto The operation manual so this is basically the paper on how to set up if you are a beginner or your first time using a sewing machine so this paper makes it easier for you to set it up and these are the different sewings so this is your like if you don't have your overlocker you can actually use number three to overlock your clothes or between this number five is for your overlocker this is for backstitch and these are the numbers sewings so you can roll it depending on the one you are using to sew So opening the manual, I saw the, the CD and this is going to help you to set it up as a beginner. So do not be scared of getting the sewing machine because there is a CD that would help you to set it up. To fix the cable is by the side here. And this is the on and off button. So this is it. And as you can see, there is light here to help you even if you're sewing at night. Now to wind the bobbin, there is a tiny thing here. You just have to pull it up. So I put my thread. I'm using a pink thread so you can see what I am doing. First of all, you put it in here, go around the circle, and your bobbin. Okay. There is a tiny hole here. So when it goes in here, you push this bar till you hear a click sound. And I'm going to match the pedal. Okay. 
and that is how you do your bobbin you push it back again pull it out and when you push it in do not be afraid on setting up this sewing machine there is a diagram here that will help you in case you are doing it the wrong way and then there is a, a tiny hook here you make sure that it goes in here and you let it in and the upper thread just pull it Then picking it, push it down from here. And now through the needle. And that is how you set up your sewing machine as a beginner so now that we have set it up and it's ready to be used how do you select the stitch that you want to make as you can see from these one to three these are showing you your buttonholes if you don't have your overlocker you can use these stitches here to overlock the clothes so that they don't rip off on the inside and these are the different types of stitches so I'm going to be selecting my the one I want and is simply by rolling it there is a dot on top of the machine here so from here you choose the stitch that you want if you want the overlocker or the buttonholes so for the purpose of this video is for you to start it up first in sewing and we are going to be testing the um, the sound of the machine and how the stitches look like this arrow here and the number here is for the tension and they already set it up telling you that for is the normal tension of the sewing machine so you can either reduce it or you increase it but four is where you have to start off first as a beginner and you start to master your sewing machine and I'm using a white piece of fabric so we can clearly see the stitch and here under here I'm going to pull this down and in that way it is ready to sew this button here is for locking your thread so I will start off now you see and you see so this is the straight line stitching you want to make it tighter because this is if you are making gathers so from the arrow you can tell that is the longest the loose stitch so you can reduce between from here to here to make your stitches tight And that is the loose stitch so I will go to the number six so you see how tight it's going to look like and I will take it to the overlocker I'm back to my stitches And that is the first line of stitching the loose one and to the tight stitch and to the overlocker so as a beginner I would recommend you buy this type of sewing machine it is easy and for me the sound is very very okay because for people like me who usually love to sew in the night you can comfortably do that without disturbing people in the house because you're doing love what you love doesn't mean you should disturb others in the house and for people that have little baby I remember when I gave birth my daughter doesn't like me sewing when she is around or like when she's sleeping these are your 
buttonhole so if you request me to show you how to use the buttonhole i'll be happy to do that kindly let me know in the comment section and if there are other things when you buy this sewing machine like i said earlier on there is a cd here to help you that you can watch on the video and you see how it's going to help you to use your sewing machine it came with three years warrant and you can easily return that that is what it what it means that they can fix it for you or either replace it within the next three years if it damages so they trust their product they know how strong it is that is very good way to go so i love this this brother's sewing machine i just love it it's simple to use and not complicated i thought of buying something simple like this because of friends telling me we love your diys we want to start sewing we are confused we don't you have to teach us even starting from the setting up the sewing machine and i hope this video helps you as you go along and i love it myself as well so i hope you enjoyed the video please remember to subscribe if you are new to my channel